Father, we are ready to hear you speak to us. Let your spirit grant us understanding. And let your word bring light to our path. Have your own way this morning. And let you alone be glorified. Amen. Well, we've been learning. What have we been learning? We've been learning about praising God, worshiping God. Tell them to join the service there. How many of you are enjoying your times praising God alone? Have you been doing that in your, on your own? Ask your brother, have you been doing that on your own? So you are not waiting for Sunday morning. Neither are you waiting for praises and worship time. In your closet, you are worshiping him. Amen. You are praising him. Amen. And the Bible says that he inhabits the praises of his people. So as you learn to praise him, his presence will become stronger in your life. Amen. Today we are looking at a story. There are two stories. If there's time, we'll read all of them. If there's no story, if there's no time, we'll read only one. Let's turn our scripture to Second Chronicles. Chronicles is in the Old Testament. Second Chronicles, chapter twenty. Are we all there? Let's start from verse 20. But let me give you the background to the story. You are a king and you have mobilized your people to go to war. And this is a strategy you are taking to go to war. We are here. We are here. We are here. We so let's read it together from verse 20. Let's all read it together. Let's go. Oh, Judah, and you, the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe as prophets, and you shall prosper. Verse 21. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed those who should sing to the Lord, and who should praise the beauty of his holiness. As they went out before the army, and they were saying, Praise the Lord for his mercy endures forever. Let's read that last portion. As they went out before the army. Let's start that portion again. Let's jump to the next verse. Verse 22. Now when they began to praise the Lord set ambush Ammon Moab and Manser who had come against Judah and they were defeated let's read that portion again let's go Verse 
verse 23. Amen. Let's jump to verse 25 and 26. to war and you don't have a sword you don't have a spear you don't have all the arms but all you go to face your enemy is with praise does it make sense Ask, ask your brother or sister, do we go to war with praises? But let's go back. I wouldn't read the whole story so that we don't, that the lessons are what we want to pick. So let me just say from verse 1 to 3, verse 1 and 2. The armies had gathered against Jehoshaphat. Are we okay? And in verse 2, he had been told that they are a great multitude. Let's say it together, a great multitude. What the boy Jehoshaphat and said, there are times in your life the enemy gangs up let's say gang up from your family to wherever they get themselves together and they are a multitude they are what a multitude a multitude means they are a lot uncountable and when you read verse 3 let's all read verse 3 let's read verse 3 that one i want us to read it and Let's read it again. And for the last time. I don't know what you have heard that is making you what? Fearful. The king got afraid. Anything that is overwhelmingly fearful to you, say there is hope this morning. Tell your brother or sister there is hope. Catch your one, catch your say there is hope. What did the king do first? Verse 3. What did he do first? The answer is that what did he do? I want to hear you read it like you are talking to yourself. Read it loud. For the last time. No, that's the first step. Anytime you are fearful, what do you do? What do we do first? But 
Asia wa. Papa si obo yesterday. And all your spiritual power. What do we normally do first? We sick man, you hear any pa, you journey, you complain, and I then be a frost so full. That's how I don't say, or so full network in India. Someone will be kind of printable. But he set himself to seek the Lord. Let me explain something to you. Don't come to church to seek a man. Don't come to any meeting seeking a man. Don't go anywhere seeking a man. Seek the Lord. In his hands are the answers you have. Amen. But see, your wife didn't say, Nyame na Mary Reno. Why na Mary Reno? He set himself to seek the Lord. You heard a fearful news, but you ignore the Lord. You called your aunties, you called your uncles, and they put more gasoline on fire. And your fear became like a mountain. But if you turn to the Lord, so Ube Suyan said, Yehunu, Amen. He set himself to seek the Lord. Then the next thing he did, he proclaimed what? A fast. Throughout what? All Judah. Then verse, they prayed. Let's skip the prayer. But let's go to verse 6 and 7. Listen to how they address God. The one they were seeking. Verse 6. Let's read it together. Let's go. Verse 7. Jump to verse 9. Of farming. We stand before this in your presence for your name is in this temple and cry out to you in our affliction and you will hear and say verse 10 Ammon, Moab and Mount Seir, whom you will not let Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt, but they turned from them and did not destroy them. Verse 11. Here they are rewarding us by coming to throw us out of your possession, which you have given us to inherit. Verse 12. I want the verse 12 in the amplified or message. Any of the simpler versions. Verse. Let's all read it again. Let's go. Verse 
we do not know but what let's repeat that part we but for the last time I believe the people will say you are a weak king. Anna. Now, I don't know what to do. All because we are in a generation we are taught. What, do, what, what are we taught to do? Be what? Show yourself like what? Show yourself like what? You are strong. But the whole king is standing before his congregation and saying that we don't know what to do. Our eyes are on you. I came to announce to you when you come to that point in your life, you will see the glory of God. Unfortunately, that is not our approach. I know what to do, God. Wait for me. I know what to do. Stamp it for me. I know what to do. Bless it for me. I know what to do. Step aside. I will show you. Who are you showing what to do? God, the one who is the ancient of days, the one who existed before the earth came, the one who created the heavens and the earth when no man was there. You are going to show him what? May God teach our hearts to have this attitude of a king. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Resort be a an army boy. Oh, he near and talk about now open mobilize the army and your man couldn't talk about who's here in your fast here in your prayer. Oh, he knew what you need to go for the Bible to us. Who's here in your day? Yeah, yeah, for, and I also, you know, I don't know what to do. Uh, my eyes is on God. With the little education, and you made my you know, you name see me, you name see why you are going through fearful situation. The last person you want to talk to is God. Why? Why? Be so near, say why? I dare be with now. I hope they saw the Konya me holding a casa. I saw me Kenyampa. And I'm a try, my quet, and I'm a friend, my uncle, and I'm a friend, my boss. Why you mean you now, Uncle Sidney? Also, go to your. Let us turn our eyes back on the one who can. Or say, our eyes are on you. Don't let your eyes be on any man. Don't let your eyes be on your uncle. Let your eyes be on this great God. Our eyes are on you. The story is very simple. The people who were coming to fight them, when they met them and they were ready to attack them, God said that spare them. And when they spare them, now they have ganged up to attack them. Egypt. And then you're missing crowway and call and found some cow. And Mra won't was spare one. Walk on one bombs or barbed or barbed twash also. May God rise up for you as you seek Him in the name of Jesus. So the long and short is that the king realized that I have no might. We have no might. We have no might to stand against this great company. Who need more problem? Well, problem they say you are telling God I can do it. 
Yes, we can. And yes, I need a catcher. Yes, what? You have to me here. Yes, you have to me here, eh? Until you are training and you are Or here in the sea, we have no might to stand against this great company. We don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Young lady, if your eyes are upon God, He will honor you. Amen. We need a soul now, be in your mirror or a day or page out. That is why the scripture says that God gives grace to the humble, but He resists who? The proud. And Bible says that humble yourself under the mighty hand of God so that He will what? Exalt you in. This is the attitude of Jehoshaphat. And this is the attitude God wants us to have. Young man, there is a fearful challenge against your marriage. But instead of admitting to God that I cannot solve it, my eyes are on you, you are talking to people who are laughing at your back. Our NC can say, the reason why it is that the heart of man is desperately what? Wicked. Very wicked. And now we are spending much now. We are both in Kusi and Yadei. Yanku. Usika sem. Bronsama tuasha. So I didn't even know now. But only Yamin Kaza. I was in Mamka Cray. Who quiet? I was in Sitri. But we cancel that experience because we are running to the one who our eyes is on. Amen. Why no one is on? Who 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 your eyes are on who? Ask, ask, ask. And listen to the answer. Bisa bisa. Listen to the answer. Answer Ben or the mouth. What are some of the answers we, we had? What answer did he give? Obi Abe Kenya, maybe go ahead. Sorry, them. I said, why? Our eyes are on men, our eyes are on things, but our eyes should come on him. Amen. Then let's listen to the answer God gave them from verse 14. From verse 14, let's read it together. Let's go. Now pause. Sometimes when we read scriptures in the Old Testament, let's situate it in the New. In the Old Testament, you could only get an answer by going to the temple. But in the New Testament, your body is the temple. Amen. But in the New Testament, Say, say, my body is the temple. Can you be a mini pediano? And then you may sorry die. So when you read First Corinthians 3 16, Bible says that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Into why I think I sorry die animal? The Holy Spirit. I want to hear you. Who stays in the in the temple? Let's say it together. Who stays in the temple? So here one of the sons the son of Zachariah they mentioned a Levite the spirit of God started speaking the good news for you say the good news in the New Testament the spirit of God is not the preserve of pastors amen as some way may say 
Oh, crum crum. Anya chadi e wasofu pe botom. Kachonia, kachonia. Pia pia onia um crum crum ni sofu botom um crum crum. The Holy Spirit is not in the pocket of your pastor. Tell 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 your brother. The Holy Spirit dwells in you. Say he dwells in me. Say he dwells in me. So here, when we read it, the Spirit came upon him. Then he gave him an instruction. But for you, the Spirit dwells in you. And he will speak to you. Amen. So let's go on and hear what he said. Verse 15. So the king and the people were ready to listen to the spirit of God. Who do you listen to? Who do you listen to? When, when, when you face fearful situations. Chris, Christian, who do you listen to? When you are in a fearful situation, who do you listen to? Yeah, was saw them to be as a Christ. Why na adie ye hunhure huna wa utie no? I may answer because I don't know what to do. 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 Say, Mercy Lord. You will talk to a question who will introduce you to a malam. And Sunday you'll be worshipping God. Say, Lord, show us mercy. So the king and all his people, they were ready to listen to the Spirit of God. And listen to the, what the Spirit of God told them. So let's start reading and get to what the Spirit of God told them. No, let's start from when he said. That says the Lord to you. I believe the Lord is speaking to somebody today. I believe the Spirit of God is speaking to me and to you. Today. He's speaking to you. Listen to what he's saying. Let's all read what he's saying together. Let's go. Do not be afraid. Nor dismayed. Because of this great multitude for the battle is not yours but God's let's read it again thus say the Lord to you do not be afraid nor be dismayed because of this great for the battle is not yours, but God's. Which political party used the slogan? Political parties claim who said the battle is not. I hear the Spirit of God telling someone, do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. Because of the fearful situation. You had a call. You are here this morning. You had a call. And they told you something frightening. In fact, this morning, you didn't even want to come to church. Do not be afraid. You had a dream. One of the days in the week. And you claim they shot at you. The Lord says, do not be what? Afraid. No, dismay. Because of. 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 I don't know what is causing fear. To King Jehoshaphat, it was the great multitude. It was what? The great multitude. 
The great multitude can be your finances. The great multitude can be your marriage. The great multitude, young men, sometimes you think there's no future for you. Uh, uh, is it true? And it has so been but God is saying that do not be afraid. Catch on said, do not be afraid. Do not be what? Afraid. For the battle is not what? But the battle is who? Is the Lord. What it means, listen carefully. What it means is that whatever is causing the fear. The Lord says, I'm ready to take over. I am ready to do what? To take over. Will you give him the chance to take over? Ask. Don't ask the person sitting by you. Ask, ask, ask. Will you give him the chance to take over? Will you give him the chance to take over? Do you know what has happened to us? We want to fight every battle. Do you know why we want to fight every battle? We want to feel we have won. But entokwani bi oha nya me se nya won tokwa inti jina nchai na men kumau. Jina eva. There are some battles God is saying step aside for me to do what? To fight for you. Say Lord I'm ready. The question to ask the battle is not yours but the battle is the lord what does that mean does it mean god is going to descend and become an army to fight how will god fight how the answer is what we read whatever the enemy has thrown at you there is a key the enemy cannot stand. There is a key what? The enemy. Safwabi oha brun samosro. I don't know if you have any two and It is a key God is putting in your hand, young man. No devil can stop you. Me say why? No devil can stop you. When God says the battle is mine, what it means is that I have what it takes to face the situation. I have what? What it takes. Now make us all kuni and make one. Let us say, dear you here on the back of our corner mound. I will wind some. The area safwa. Now make the man in ma. A safwa se beton someone. A dear be a sorry town. You will conquer it. Amen. Let's go to verse. 19. Okay, let's start from verse 18. Let's all read it together. Let's look at what God told them. Oh, you know, a bony moade, and any penny in our bone, and was sorry, me. Let me explain it to you. Your ba a sorry, na a sorry, Yamia. Men, you know, who said we are so important, and in Yamino, just say, Oh, ye be be a man, rather be grateful that he has given you the chance. To stand before him and to worship him. What you are saying, Nasi? And you who say, just say, Yehuda, and then you have no chance to be. Immediately you enter this door, throw away everything, and your wife didn't say, "Oh, be sorry, oh, bad dear." Ni angkwenyi na yade. The king bow down, the people bow down, and they worship. What are you bowing down to to worship? It is the first key. Amen. Hey, what do I want? The outcome is that some men need to grow up. No more for sorry and you're missing so. No sorry, Namia. Or they are doing a bit too much. No more. 
I bet the son will seek and say, My man. Hey, Yarena, one of my dry and cock, and I do be to Punum. That's how sorry I am, Mrs. If it means lying down, thou not sorry, Yammy. Nintia, a year, Jumani said, Emra, who's sorry, Yammy, who catch in Yammy said, Who's so soon be a Nammy, dear, dear, and his son, sir. Then Yamu, dear, dear, shining, sir, or Yamane, bro, and what is. Anytime you allow God to work, He does it better than any man. Do we pay to worship? Put your consultation fee and say, sorry. Oje car, bisa bisa ni oje car. So please, the first key is that learn to worship. Amen. Obisi, I and I'm a bad sorry worship any day. Ukofi ako any day ufi. Amen. Ukofi ako any day. Any day. Obisi, any day. Worship you see, let's learn to do things alone. Amen. He inhabits the praises. Oh, sorry, then you are sorry. Then you are sorry. Oh, two and a month. Oh, two and a month. So yeah, I'm not there. Oh, the mentia. Well, when I say this, I'm not castigating anybody. Do you know why we run to men of God? Hello? Why do we run to men of God? I want to hear the answer. Why do we run to men of God? We want answers. From who? <laughs> we run to men of God to get answers from who? When we worship, who says he comes to our praises? So, when with worship, I can get access to God. Why am I wasting time with men? One thing I say, you better explain. I need money from the bank. I'm running with the, with the gate man. Can he give me money? Who do I need to see in the bank? In worship, I have direct access to God. I will use that weapon. Even after service. I worship my king. Even when I don't know what to do, I worship my king. And He worshipped. He did what? He worshipped. When was the last time you worshipped God alone? Don't give me the answer. When? I said, may change. Yeah, what drums now? Do it even when the drums are not there. Amen. They worshipped. Verse 19. What did they do next? That's the next key. What did they do? Let's all read it together. So the next thing they did was to praise God with voices loud and high. What they fine. Loud voices. Say loud voices. And high voices. Can you be doing loud, high in your heart? But don't you take me question, Nancy? I dare dare say, I know you're doing. I ain't telling you, Musumi, you're welcome. Can somebody hear what is in your heart? Then the next verse, verse 20. We've been quoting verse 20, but I will explain how it is situated. Let's all read verse 20. Let's go. And you 
shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. If you are a king, you are used to going to war with army. Hello? So for you to hear the spirit of God telling you that go with worship and praises, it takes faith to believe that word. It takes what? Because you are used to arrow, bow, spear, and then Kebeka say AK-47. Just praise me. How will you feel? Can you believe that? Hello? Will you believe that? Christian, you are electrician. You are used to using your cutter, your plier, your what? God says, set them aside. Today he's going to wire the house. What will you say? Is it magic? Who's a mechanic or connected or say, is it magic? Because the instrument for war is not praises and worship, is it? When God says the battle is mine, what it means is that throw away your, uh, throw away your method. I have a new method for you. What is it? Now, I'm missing to acquire your media. Maybe throw away your food. I wouldn't him. Unya day. Wouldn't him. You don't know. You think you know, but you don't know. May we be open to God's methods. May we be what? Open to God's methods. And it takes humility to take God's method. It takes what? Humility. Please come. An illustration. You are a teacher. Your method is chalkboard, marker, whatever. Then you achieve your results. If the Spirit of God starts telling you, I have a new method for you to communicate to the children and to teach them. And the method is so different from what you are used to. The board, the chalk, the marker. How will you feel? Will you believe? Abby, you are an honest person, Tracy. Now, can you say, I don't know this method. I have not even read it anywhere. That when you are going to battle, you go with praises and worship. In fact, your generals will even kill you. They will tell you that what has come over our king. And that is why verse 20. Believe in the Lord. So that you can be what? Established. And believe his prophets. So that you can do what? You can prosper. second opinion anything scripture tells you you have what second opinion will you be established no will you prosper no. when god's word is saying pray i have a second opinion when god's word is saying give i have what second opinion you will not be established and you will not prosper. Pray this prayer that Lord heal me. Wow, Bompai. Lord heal me of unbelief. Bompai, Bompai, Mao. What's in your name? Me, you never be brain deep. And that's a me area. Let's pray. Let's pray for ourselves. Pray, 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 pray. We'll be a boss, Empire. No, because that is where the enemy gets us. Our methods are so we are used to it. Anything God brings different. We'll fight it. Anything God tells us different, we will resist it. But you are going to pray. The Lord heal me. Let me see things from your way. Let me see things from your perspective. Let me follow you, your words through your word. Hallelujah. He believed. Say he believed. So what did he do? Verse 21. When he had consulted, he appointed singers. 
that they will praise the Lord. He appointed singers. You don't say you believe when you don't act. You don't say you believe when you don't what? Act. Mijidi, nensu wana moni nyinane nchereso wujidi. Did you get it? So the next thing that came did, he appointed singers because he believed. And now let's go to where we started from. Verse 22. Verse 22. Let's read it again. And when, I want to hear you, let's go. Now when they began to sing and to praise the Lord, the Lord said, ambush may the lord set ambush against your enemies this ambush means you are surrounded unknown to you did you get it you are moving as a troop you think you are secured but ambush means people are hiding around you but you don't know and you suddenly see them surrounding you and throwing their armory against you that is ambushment he will set ambushment for you let me explain it the king did not have any power do you remember when we read in verse 1 and 2 the king was fearful the king was told the battle is who the lord and the lord had set ambush against who the people who had come against judah and what happened to the people they were defeated let me hear you say what happened to the people they were. what happened to the people they were defeated. may the lord this morning set ambush against anything that is against your life as you learn to praise him as you do what to praise him they were defeated that disease will be defeated this morning that challenge will be defeated this morning that demonic attack will be what defeated this morning that question on your mind confusion it will be what defeated this morning that doubt will be defeated this morning where will the defeat come because you have learned to praise and to worship and the Lord say, I will set ambush. And when the Lord set ambush, anything that is fighting you will be defeated. Say, Lord, I'm ready for you. Say, Lord, I'm ready for you. I have met situations. I have tried prayer. I have tried fasting. I've tried giving, but there is none of the problems that have defied praises and worship. And I made you adding. Because only as adding, ask ask your your neighbor. Is it difficult? Do you know that simple things we don't like them? Oba and I may say, my conference you have Jordan, me the issue of Israel, me the issue of Hifa Hifa, and they will be a mess line. And can hold po 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 po. One million line here, two hundred line here, fifty nine line, ten four line. Yeah, mumu there me yah drop drop drop. Amen. 
and tis or sorry, and many a me to an amour. May you know to do. And the Lord defeated them. Whatever is fighting you, get ready for an end to read this morning. And listen to how God did it. The next verse. They started fighting among themselves. May the enemy cause those again. They will start fighting among themselves. They will start killing themselves. When you read the last verse, the Bible says that they help to destroy one another. One Bob may that be your story this morning may they start cutting themselves may they start doing what? fighting themselves do you know that if your enemies are fighting and destroying themselves isn't it sweet Oh, yo, where the one in your control? Where the one in control? And I never quit it. But that is how praises and worship work. From your village, they were planning. But as you begin to worship God, the Lord visits them. So the three people who were planning to come and kill you, then they start fighting. God has spared you. They are destroying themselves. That is what praises and worship achieves in your life. They will start destroying themselves. They will do what? Start destroying. They told you your children will not grow up and become anything. But as you begin to worship the Lord, he set ambush against them. They told you you cannot have that blessing. But as you begin to worship the Lord, they start destroying themselves. Anyone that has set himself to destroy you, may they start destroying themselves in the name of Jesus. That is the power. Okay, there is what message. They mistakenly attacked. Nansen ka wone yeshe shewa den ye ye de ako kan oba. Be fo na be start ya rene ba. O si de bi o nan ka ya si me si ba. Because the Lord has set what ambush. Won be yen from so. Won be yen they will mistakenly attack. And they will massacre themselves. I stand this morning to declare. May any gate of the enemy against you. May they start attacking themselves. May they start massacring themselves. In the name of Jesus. And listen to what they did again. They further were confused. And they started. Who said? But are confused? So you are to be an ally, fighting an enemy. They say, I won't be an enemy. That is confusion. That is confusion. May confusion visit any enemy. May confusion visit their camp. In the name of Jesus. And Bible says that they were all killed. But the better part. The good part. Nehemi de pa wo mu yeh verse twenty five. Baby, let's read it in the message. And can verse twenty five as a prophetic word for you? T. Enemies be an soria. Enemy be ohem mount samu da. If some enemies do not get up, there are blessings that will never come where into your hands. You will talk about it. If when you see people even having it, you'll be envious. But this morning, you will not miss what is yours. Say, I will not miss what is mine. Every enemy is going to leave. 
Because the battle is who? It's the Lord. The battle is the Lord. My father fought this battle. I will not fight it again. My mother fought this battle. I will not fight it again. My uncle fought this battle. I will not fight it again. My ancestors. I will not fight it again. Because now the battle is who? It's the Lord's. The battle is whose? It's the Lord's. Verse 25. Can I say, O can a disamafal? Let's read it together. The West Paul here. The West Paul means that when you defeat an enemy, all that belongs to the enemy you defeated is yours. It's called spells of war. But what I say? In the Bible, can say they took the spoil. I just said. Say, I'll take my spoil this morning. Marriage is in my spoil. Money is in my spoil. Traveling is in my spoil. Babies are in my spoil. New jobs are in my spoil. I am taking my spoil. Oh, I don't know who is a witness. I am taking my spoil. Listen. Listen. Angels are distributing spoils. Angels are distributing spoils. I receive my spoil. When Goliath was threatening the people of Israel and David killed him, Bible says that they rushed and took their spoil. In Goliath, you will take your spoil. I am taking my spoil. And listen to what the Bible says. They found among them, let's go. They found among them much cattle, goods, garments, precious things, which they took for themselves more than they will carry say more than i can carry more than i can carry more than i can carry and they took how many days how many days did they take three days what the name is son and what this is son near man now you want jeffa may god give you more than you can carry may god give you more than you can god's concern is not what you eat with your husband god's concern is more than you so that another person can benefit God's concern is not me, my wife, and my children. It is, it is, it is the least thing he's thinking about. God's concern is how the next door neighbor can come and enjoy with you. So he gives you more than you can carry. Bible says, "Was the son near near bro near ube to me as the son." Say more than I can carry. Say more than I can carry. It took three days to gather what? The spoil. As you begin to praise God and as you begin to worship God, 
whatever the enemy was sitting on whatever the enemy had buried whatever the enemy had captured it will be open to you and you will carry and carry and carry and carry and carry and you'll be so tired in carrying i receive this on your behalf father let this be the testimony of everyone here more than i can carry 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 every enemy that is sitting on it they are dislodged they are displaced but she has said, Oh, sorry, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I be man, I be moon temple. Whatever God has told you is going to come to pass. But as you learn to use the key of praise and worship, it will be hastened, it will come speedily, it will come what speedily. more than i can carry more than i can carry when you read the end and short they returned and they celebrated what god had done may god give us victories as we learn to praise him may god fight for us as we begin to worship him This is why David won all his battles. David was a worshiper. David was a praiser. Last week we were reading it. He said five times. How many times? Five times in a day. I will do what? I will praise. Patosiae. We want to pray. And we want to worship. So the praise and worship team, please come up front. Sorry, now, now. So please stand, 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 stand. 